Okay, so this is the 2015 uh, Forerunner from Expedition Overland, Apollo. Um, I'm going to go around the exterior and maybe point out a couple things. Um, first thing is on the front here, you can see that the uh, worn winch has been um, really elegantly worked into the front valance. Uh, we've got some uh, Gear America um, uh, D-rings. Um, the worn winch is all synthetic rope, uh, and there's gobs and gobs of it on there. It's got to be 100 feet or more. <clears throat> um, the headlights have been uh, all upgraded to HID lights uh, through Headlight Revolution. It's a really great kit. Um, I had all the work done by uh, Speaker Box Car Audio here in Huntsville. Um, there are certainly some little dings in the paint. Uh, it is was an off-road truck, so you know you're going to get things like that one there. Uh, here, um, you know, so uh, not a brand new truck, um, but in very very good shape. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, so I had all of the, the windows tinted, um, and limo tint in the back, uh, because I sleep in the truck in parking lots occasionally, and I don't want people peeking in. Um, I had vents put, uh, vent, uh, vent, uh, covers put on all the windows. Um, the, uh, the wheels, the, so the tires are, are Cooper, uh, STT Pros, and then the wheels are our SCS um, uh, wheels that I that I put on there, uh, and then you can see the the brakes back there, uh, the big brake kit. Um, you can also see I think that uh, you know everything's in really good shape, um, you know, clean. Um, so on the rear, where the, uh, um, uh, fender, uh, flares are, there's been some rubbing down to, uh, through the paint there. You can see, uh, that's the one spot, uh, that, that had some damage. Um, and then down here, a guy rubbed up against me when I had my bumper off getting it, um, Repowder coated, and uh, he, um, I guess he was backing out of a parking space or something. He rubbed up against me, so there's that. Um, the uh, bumper is by um, CBI Off Road Fab. It's a great bumper. I had it uh, completely repowder coated, so it's in really good shape. Um, as you can see. Uh, and new hardware on everything. I also had the uh, bumper modified with a trailer hitch. I was pulling a hitch for uh, one of my trips. It was about 3,500 miles. It was a little teardrop, a little off-road teardrop that I'd had. Uh, okay, so continuing on the other side, there's a little shelf there. Um, the, the, the paint has been um, all corrected and uh, made really nice. Um, shelf, of course the spare tire, uh, a couple of uh, five gallon Wavian gas cans on the top of the line, a new rigid light that's back there, and, uh, and a brand new uh, high lift jack that I put on there. The other one had gotten some rust on it. Um, so this is, again, the spare. Um, you've got, uh, rigid lights back down here, um, pods, uh, along with, uh, more of the Gear America, um, uh, D-rings. Let's see. So up here you've got a Fiskars, uh, axe and a, a shovel. Um, you can see paint's in really good condition. And the, the Arb Safari Snorkel. 
Um, again, the SCS wheels and brake kit, it's on the front and rear. And in here. And I think that kind of does it for the outside. On top, there's uh, the K9 on, awning uh, and K9 rack. Um, and, uh, and then four um, recovery tracks, uh, Max tracks, recovery tracks, brand new. Um, and then the Series 1000 running on the side. Since I was traveling by myself, I needed something that was easy to deploy and retract with one person.